11 weeks pregnant. to my channel in this video i'm going to be giving you guys the first pregnancy trimester update and how i knew i was pregnant i'm out of breath already jesus i just started talking Whew. this is gonna be hard all right <laughs> but no seriously um i took a lot of pregnancy tests in the previous video go ahead stop this video and go ahead and check that video out also if you haven't had the opportunity to like comment or subscribe to my channel do so as well okay so I'm gonna be referencing my phone because I have a lot of notes in my phone and I don't want to miss anything I want to be sure that I if you are pregnant or think you're pregnant I'll be able to help you out in some type of way um so we're gonna go ahead and give you again the first trimester see my brain is at the the first trimester pregnancy update because again right now i'm already in my second trimester and we'll get into that later okay so um again if you haven't watched my first video go ahead and watch that because i was explaining how um my boobs just started leaking you know out, out of nowhere it's a red bird outside my house red bird is a good look by the way focus <laughs> but no um Again, if you haven't watched my first video, I explained how my boobs were leaking and I just had a baby, I think eight months beforehand, but I wasn't breastfeeding. So I decided to go ahead and go to the doctor and see what was going on. I look, it was feeling like I was pregnant because I worked the third shift and I was hungry like I was so 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 hungry like every couple hours and that only happens when I'm pregnant but I didn't think that I was pregnant because it's just like really it it, it was like impossible um and this is my third pregnancy by the way and you would think like girl don't you know no I didn't know I really didn't know until these boobs started leaking so I went to the doctor or whatever and um took a pregnancy test and everything it was negative I'll insert the paperwork if I can find it um it was negative I'm like okay so then she had me do a mammogram mammogram came back, came back perfect I'm like okay cool so shortly after that I went out of town for my uh cousin's little premiere show and when I tell you I was having a good time I was having a good time I mean drinking galore shots of the shots of the shots of the shots karaoke shots of the shots of shots just drinking just having a ball like because that's what you're supposed to do live your life I wasn't thinking about being pregnant whatsoever I just I just had a baby like I just had a baby who's trying to have a baby right back to back like that that's crazy so we got on there we're having a good time or whatever but I'm just like so tired a little exhausted just like oh I'm ready for it to be over like what what's going on you know so um uh backtrack a little bit when i went to the doctor i had just got off my period probably like i think it was like four days before i went to the doctor and so i just told her i just got off my period you know i can't be pregnant blah blah blah, blah all that good stuff so we'll go ahead and fast forward so the next month come around and i didn't get my period i'm like okay that's weird like i'm like okay but i still was feeling hungry i was feeling a little exhausted i was tired i'm just like a little irritable like what is going on so i i'm at work one day and i'm just like so irritated you know what i'm saying so i'm like i'm about to go <laughs> i'm gonna leave for the night so i left and i went to take a i went to walmart and got a home pregnancy test and i took this pregnancy test in the downstairs bathroom and my boyfriend was upstairs my baby daddy was upstairs at the time and so i just snuck and took this pregnancy test and i was like okay i know it's gonna be negative because why would it be positive and plus he ain't even touch me i ain't touch your what happened <laughs> nevertheless it came back positive like literally right away y'all seen the video it was positive so i'm like okay <sighs> I presented him with the test and he was just like, that's fake. <laughs> that's fake. And my, 
I'm looking at my face I'm like no nevertheless it was positive so I make an appointment with the doctor and when I go into the doctor I'm like okay at this point I'm thinking I'm like four four or five weeks you know what I'm saying go to the doctor they do an ultrasound check for the heartbeat they couldn't find a heartbeat do the ultrasound no baby no four to five weeks try 11 weeks pregnant Eleven weeks pregnant. I said, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. My doctor said, you decided to do it again. I said, no, ma'am. These kids are choosing me. Because if it was up to me, I would have had the one kid. And I probably would have just now been trying to have another one. And that's it. But these kids just choose me. So I turned out to be 11 weeks. So let me go ahead and tell y'all some symptoms that I was having. Because baby... Mm, 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 mm. I, I could not believe it I just really could not believe it but as soon as I got that confirmation you know what I'm saying I'm like hmm everything start making sense everything start making sense so it's like I start having these dreams these dreams these, these long vivid dreams I can remember when I woke up and usually if I ever dream it's because I'm pregnant but I wasn't thinking. I'm just really not thinking. Oh my God, why is he you pregnant? Like, for real? For real. So I start having these dreams. And of course, the missed period at this point. My boobs were aching, like, terribly. It was no longer leaking at this point. Uh, but they were aching really, really bad. Like, bad. Okay? I started having like food aversions. I was nauseous galore. I mean, nauseous. I'm throwing up every single day, sometimes twice a day. I mean, with my first pregnancy, I threw up one time and that's it. With my last pregnancy, well, my first pregnancy was a boy. And my uh, last pregnancy was a girl. And I threw up quite a bit. But this time, y'all, it was so intense. It was so intense. I could not eat. I mean, I'm literally like laid out, like laid out. It, it was horrible, it, absolutely horrible this first trimester. I'm like going through sweats and having these sweat spells. I'm hot and cold. I, I honestly, at one point thought I had COVID because I couldn't smell anything. I couldn't taste anything. And I call my mom like, mama, so I got COVID. She's like, well, you know, you can get them home COVID tests, da, 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 da. and like, what really got me is because I couldn't smell my favorite perfume. Whew. I'm spraying it, spraying it, spraying it, spraying it, spraying it. He's talking about he can smell it. If my son said, oh, you smell good, mommy. But I could not smell it at all. Couldn't taste my food, nothing. I'm like, I can't smell the... I can't smell my Chanel Chance. Maybe something is going wrong. I got the COVID. I got the COVID. But crazy thing is, later on that night... I just start getting a whiff of it, like, I can smell it again, like, so I don't have the COVID. You know what I'm saying? Might be TMI, but I start getting diarrhea, and <laughs> I'm getting diarrhea. My body is just absolutely aching, like, super, super crampy. Like, my hips, my legs, my abdomen, everything was just on fire. It was on fire. And every woman has different cravings, or not cravings, but different symptoms. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and just let y'all know everything that I experienced. Because just because one woman have a missed period and she may be nauseous or have more than sickness. And the next person may be super hungry and have achy boobs. But nobody's talking about if you have diarrhea. Nobody's talking about if you think you have the flu or COVID. These are actually symptoms of pregnancy. So I'm going to share everything with y'all that I have written down here. Okay. So I started having my nose started to peel really bad. My nose started to peel. And it says that that's like week 11. Week 11, super crazy headache. My headache was like crazy. I'm not understanding like what is going on. Let me be here pregnant. Ah, pregnant. That is crazy. Um, Everything, everything was smelling horrible. I could smell everything no matter what it is it wasn't working for me if it smelled good to me beforehand it wasn't working for me if it stunk to me beforehand 
it wasn't working for me. Nothing was working for me. Oh my God, y'all. It's crazy. So, um, the trouble sleeping, I was tossing and turning like crazy. Like, I couldn't sleep for shit. I mean, I couldn't sleep for nothing. My apologies. Um, and so, I really just didn't understand. Oh, baby. The discharge. The discharge was crazy. I haven't experienced it. I haven't experienced as much as I had until I had this pregnancy. I just felt like I couldn't move. Like I just was like glued to the bed. Like that's the only thing I could do. When you look back at it, you you like, okay, you're pregnant. Like my um son kissed my stomach. I'm like, what are you doing? There's nothing there. Yeah, he know. He knew I was pregnant the first time. He told me it was a girl and everything. It turned out to be a girl and everything. These kids be knowing. And I don't know if y'all know um, when kids uh, put their bottom up and they like look between their legs. Both my kids was doing that for the, for weeks, weeks, weeks. And I just was like, oh, yeah. Pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. Like for real. I can't believe I am pregnant. So right now, guys, um, I'm actually in the 18th week. And I don't want to do like week to week updates. I feel like what's going to change from last week for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm going to just probably do, I'll do monthly or I'll do uh, per trimester. Y'all let me know what y'all want. If y'all want per trimester or if you want me to do monthly um, updates. And I will do that. But as of now, things have gotten a little better. And we'll talk about that in a whole new video. And I know um, you guys want to see the little bump, see the baby bump, and I'm definitely going to show you guys. So let me stand up to do so. Again, remember this is my, I'm, I'm now my second trimester, so I'm 18 weeks, just turned 18 weeks. Every Friday, I turn a new, um, a new week. And so today is Monday, the Monday, November 28th. And I actually have a doctor's appointment in two days. So if I can take y'all, I will, but... If you've been pregnant before, you know they just what they do is it's nothing major. Um, but the anatomy scan, I'm gonna try to sneak y'all in because they don't want nobody coming in with uh filming anything, but I'm gonna have somebody sneak in the cord so that y'all can see what's going on. And then as far as the gender, we're gonna wait until we have the baby to see what the gender is because again, I have one of each and it's just I'm okay with whatever God blesses me with because obviously it's a blessing at this point. First, I was looking at a negative in a negative light, like, oh, what am I gonna do with another kid? Again, I have a three-year-old, he just turned three in November, and my one-year-old just turned one at the end of October. So it's like three, one, and pregnant. <laughs> and I have boy and girl. So, um, yeah. I have a girl name picked out already, but leave some boy names in the comments just in case it's a boy. I'm not going to tell y'all what, what I think. I'm going to let y'all guess what y'all think it is. And then um, we, just leave me some names in the comments. Leave boy names, girl names, because y'all might come up with something better than what I got. You see what I'm saying? But let me go ahead and show you the bump. Don't forget, it's 18 week bump. This is not the first trimester bump. This is the 18 week bump. I do have some pictures in here from when I was in my first trimester, but again, it's further along, or I'm not going to say it's further along as you get, but it's my third baby, so I will show faster, but I really don't think I'm that big, but I'll let y'all be the judge. So here we go. And I'm tall too, so maybe that's why. But this is my 18-week bump, and again, I will try to find some um <laughs> find some pictures from when i was first when i first started taking them or whatever for the first trimester to see if i could upload them as well so y'all can see what i'm talking about but here this is the bump look my waist beads they don't even want to stay down no more they keep rising up but this is the baby bump i'm 18 weeks in a couple of days and i really haven't gained any weight or anything I was throwing up every single day, multiple times a day, so I lost a lot of weight. 
I don't know what I weigh right now, but I'm gonna tell you standing up and sitting down. Okay, breath. I can't keep doing it. Whew. We got one flight of stairs in this house and I'll be out of breath. I'll be out of breath. Hold my baby, I'll be out of breath. Just rolling over in the bed, out of breath. I have a triple sleep, out of breath. <laughs> Anyway, guys thank you so much for watching i hope i helped someone um to anyone who's found out their premium congratulations to you you are not alone if you found any of this helpful or you have any questions please leave a comment and i'll be more than happy to answer anything that i can answer i'm no doctor but i do have experience third go around and i'm happy to help all right much peace and love god bless you bye